it was time to catch another ferry. This time from Ardrossan, and as we set sail on another adventure where something special awaits. If you've played golf in Ayrshire, then you'll have likely seen an island on the horizon in the distance. An island that I had longed to visit and home to a golf course with just 12 holes. Welcome back to episode two of Ferry Golf. We arrived last night at uh, 8.20 on uh, that ferry behind you and literally uh, stopped in a hotel very nearby. It's 6.30 a.m. in the morning. It's that early, I can't get my words out. But for a little wander on the uh, Broderick seafront and already looking at the mountains in the backdrop, the moody skies. I think today's gonna be pretty special, you know. We've arrived at Shiskin Golf Course and it is absolutely another day of deathly still. No breeze coming off at all and I'm saying off of the water front is just to my left which we'll see when we go around. The course looks awesome, it's all burnt up in terms of the fairways, proper links summer conditions. The question is off the first, what club to use and whatever you do, don't go left. Great shot. <laughs> and, on, and it's on the camera. Oh, we got it on the camera. Well done. Stop filming no now. No pressure. <laughs> right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good. Right down the middle. Oh, see, that's that far. Good. Yeah. Hold up. Right, I made my way to the third. Uh, quite a tough opening two holes, to be honest with you, and the land is very firm and fiery. As you can see, it's burnt up and it's playing like proper burnt up links. We've got an interesting hole here. If you uh, have been to Shiskin or you've heard of it, then this par three is probably one that you'll remember. It's the third, it's called Crow's Nest. It sits on that horizon there. So we've got a uh, orange flag you can see on the brow. Very much blind, very much up here, playing 125, we're going to try a 9-iron. We've got a camera up on the green, so fingers crossed. Oh, 
absolutely delighted to get the birdie. That had a big break in it, you know. Um, you've seen on camera, uh, I don't know where that pitched in terms of the carry. It's completely blind, obviously, from the tee. But anyway, got the birdie, you think that's a good hole, and then you come to four, and this is the one that everybody talks about. It's called the shelf. It's playing 137 from this tee box today that we're playing. You've got a big rock in the backdrop. You've got the green down below, the water on the horizon. What a place to play a golf shot from. Let's look out there. Wow. Well, something very much again unique at Shiskin Golf Course that I've never seen before, and that's three back to back par threes. Played 120 up the hill, played 149 down the hill from the Yellows, and playing 212 out into the sea. And uh, like I said, an incredible mix of three holes. I'm not sure I can get there with this one. On left and sit down. Sit. Sit. Well, it went down the left hand side, and to be honest with you, with uh, quite how fiery these are, I certainly would have well got there. We're, at, uh, we're up against a sort of back fence, but it's not just the fact three back to back par threes really quirky in itself, but it's the positions that you play each of them from. It's absolute breathtaking, every one of them. I just noticed I've got a relatively big smile on my face for me and uh, we just played those three back-to-back -back par threes uh, which were very good indeed I think so what I'd have come through them level par a bogey a par and a birdie that's not too bad I wouldn't have thought and then you play off the horizon uh, for the next tee shot on six and uh, again completely blind and you play into this kind of basin of a green which everything that gathers uh, I played five wood and uh, didn't come up too bad and I think it's obviously drivable but realistically I think most people may be playing iron I don't know anyway let's see if we can get up and down advice get a course planner because you're going to need to find your way around this place it's uh, we're playing to a blind shot black and white marker and believe me you'll see it very soon it is really blind it's another par three it's 152 unfortunately enough I've got the drone up there right now so I can see where I'm going to a uh, fairly small target I'll hit record on this and we'll see if we can hit another green on a par three Well, now we need to wait. You've seen the aerial footage before I do, but that was pretty much online. It's got a chance, that one. Right, seven holes in reach for the course planner again, and uh, I think Shiskin is all about, it's a good golf course, don't get me wrong, but it's incredibly good in terms of the views and the vantage points. And I've just said, switch the camera on, because I reckon we're gonna see another one right now. Eight hole, playing back out of the, 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 the waterfront is there, sort of pretty much on every shot that you play. But then views, why wouldn't you enjoy your golf here? You couldn't have a bad round, could you? I 
Well, it's the uh, first and I think only par five that we play on the course. And uh, we're at five wood off the tee, but they're bounding for miles. We've got 250 to go. We'll have a little bit of a pot with another five wood, I think. up there it was it's online i'm hitting the ball well today you know i think again it's most like i said at millport yesterday when you're swinging in kind of a relaxed mood and in a, in a good mood i reckon golf's a bit easy you know i play this game too stressed Chiskin requires no assistance with some fancy words from me to help you understand what is so special about this place. It's clear to see and you'll understand why I spent much of the time taking in the views as I did playing golf. So my visit to Aaron and Shiskin Golf Club has come to an end, 12 holes completed and uh, walking down the last I was sort of thinking well how would I summarise this visit and uh, last evening someone sent me a text and I think they summarise it better than I probably could. So I'm going to pinch their words and they said probably the perfect golf course, quirky, fun, cool architecture and the perfect number of holes. That's credited to Jamie Darling and I think to be fair mate you got that absolutely spot on. The question is, where are we off to next? Right, that's it, back in the van, time to catch another ferry. But the question is, where are we off to next? And for that, you'll have to tune in next Sunday at 6.30. I'll see you then.